Hello and welcome to the first episode of a new Minecraft Let's Play. I've literally just loaded up my world, tied in the seed, and I've just spawned into this random location with a bunch of grass and something I can punch. I like punching stuff, so I just punch this little weedy stuff and go and investigate these group of buildings here. And it looks like we've got a bit of a village right off the bat, which is pretty cool. I'm really impressed with that. With food and everything, so I should be finding the food front for a while. A bit light, light on trees, but I'm sure we'll find some more as we go along. Here's one right here. But first, get out of my way. I want to get to that tree. So I'm just going to start smashing him to pieces with seeds. Because everyone knows that the best way to kill sheep is by using seeds. Actually, it's probably more effective to use a sword, but I don't have a sword yet. I've just started out, remember? So, I'm going to use seeds. I'm just going to look at my infantry and get the first couple of achievements there. Because they're very easy achievements to get those ones. Just open up your infantry and you've automatically got an achievement. Nothing special, but it's an achievement nonetheless. And also, I've got my first bit of wood, which is absolutely vital. Time to grab some more trees, I think. They were a bit light on the ground for trees. And what I might do is just grab another tree and kill this guy because he's annoying. He's in the way. Those two are in the way. And so I'm just going to start punching him with seeds again. The most effective method of killing a sheep is with seeds when you don't have a sword. For another reason that it's sunk on an end of a hand, it's not just your bare fist, which is probably going to hurt. Although, if you're doing that in real life and you're hitting a sheep with a seed, you'd probably hurt your hands anyway, so that's probably not the best tactic in any situation. However, this is Minecraft logic, so bear that in mind. Um, and Minecraft logic is incredibly different to normal logic in the sense that you can kill stuff with seeds. Don't know too many people can kill stuff with seeds in real life and if you can do so, do let me know because then I'll probably try it myself. Um, okay, ignore that last bit because it's probably not a smart move either because you'll probably spend quite a bit of time in jail and we don't want to spend time in jail now, do we? In the meantime, I'll just collect some more wood because everyone knows that wood is a good thing. And I kind of like quite a bit of wood so I can start building a few tools and get ready for the oncoming night because as it's a brand new world, I'm totally un... Is that something already? It should be daytime. Or well, in fact, it is daytime so I shouldn't be able to hear anything. Uh, sorry for going silent now. I thought I heard something. Maybe it's something underground. Well, I don't think I'm in under any immediate threat as well. I can't see. That sounds like a s spider of sorts. But I'm nowhere near a cave system. That's just a little concerning. Well, it's still daytime, so I'm basically safe from all harm right now. So I'm just going to mine. Mine? No. I'm just going to collect a bit more wood. Collect a few saplings. I might need to bring them a bit closer to this first town. Uh, this village here that I've just spotted. And see what the future brings in terms of what I'm going to do to survive. I've already got food, so I don't have to worry about that for now. I kind of want to build probably a few bigger farms at a later point. But I have enough food to kind of last me a couple of days or so. So just collect that sapling. What happened to my... Oh, lava! i just seen lava. That's cool. Everyone loves lava. Lava is a key to life. So if you've got lava, lava is key to life. Oh, not really, but hey, I'll just pretend it is. Because we're currently not live in my uh, whacking seeds with seeds studio and I want coal because coal will help us light things up at a later point 
Unfortunately, there isn't any in that water cave, so I just get to look elsewhere. However, there's a nice patch of grass here, which produces nothing. And that patch of grass, nothing as well. That's not cool. But that's probably my next priority, is to get... I don't want to go down there in case there is something major down there, like enemies. I'm not prepared for them. So I have to be really careful not to go anywhere too dark, and just to generally find something super quick that is going to give me coal at a very quick and rapid speed. I don't want to stray too far. But I know all about that. Uh, I don't know where and... Oh! There is some bits over there. I don't want to go too close to that lava. Not right now, anyway. But what I really want to do is... No, that's just in the way. That's the only reason why I got that. It might help a bit later on as well. But what I really need is some coal. I don't want to like, mine an awful lot. But I just need to get a few bits of coal just to kind of start me off. And I might off screen like get a bunch of coal but like melting wood or something. Just so I've got enough to make torches and whatnot. And to burn anything that I want to at a later point when I get like iron and start whining about that sort of stuff. But why is it up that high? Like seriously, why is it up that high? Oh well, I'll just have to do a bit of terraforming and make myself some stairs. That sounds like a smart thing to do. Build my way up from the bottom to the top. And let's just hope there aren't too many enemies in here. Okay. Time to build myself some stuff. Alright. Doop, doop, doop. Doop. Okay, so I built myself a crafting table. That's cool. But I only really want it just to build a basic. Okay. Hang on. Ba 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 ba. Get 20 sticks for now. And I'm going to build myself a generic pickaxe. And probably another thing I might do is just build myself a sword. There we go. Just in case I need to defend myself, but I'm hoping I don't at this point. So I don't have any armor. At the moment, I'm pretty good. We're going to start off by mining some coal. Because coal will help me get torches and to kind of light everything up at a point. So... Plus I might actually lie out of this cave at some point, because you never know what could be lurking around the corner. There isn't anything yet, but I do know that mobs like spawning in darkness. And what better place than to spawn in the cave? Because everyone knows that caves are dark unless you light them up. Right, so any more? Any more? I might mine... Uh, I've just got myself stuck in a hole. I might mine myself some cobblestone just so I can get some really cool, better, slightly better pickaxes and start mining the iron once I get the first couple of days out of the way. And then I can just get ready and use the coal and all that coal to like burn stuff and light the place up so the air is a lot safer. So, and then the, the other bit, the cobblestone will be to get better equipment because the equipment that I just made is very generic and I'm only using it to get what I need. And once I've got what I need, I'll be using a slightly better setup with cobblestone, pickaxes and swords and to the point that we get some iron, which might be a little way might be a little way into the future, maybe a couple of weeks or so, until we get all that sorted. Do a bit of exploring before then. But, like I said, that's fine because we've got plenty of food in the meantime. So we can just live off that. We're going to grab that because I don't intend to stay here. I tend to use the village as a base and I've already got something I can use as a bed. But, there was some more coal around here. But I do want to be careful because if anything spawns, then I could be in a lot of trouble. So, I'm going to get what I want and I'm going to run out of here like a giant chicken. The only difference between me and a giant chicken is that I have bigger legs. And I'm a little bit more confident. 
Just big chickens. Oh, exactly that. They're just big chickens. There's nothing really special about them. They're just cluck and lay eggs. And I don't want to be a chicken. I'm quite happy to be me. I'm mining stuff out with a pickaxe. And a bit more cobble. And this is going to run out soon. So I'm just going to finish off in this last bit of cobble over here. And it's gone. <coughs> Honey me. Yeah. Oh, I better start making my way back to that village. Sword again. Night time. I'm going to quit my sword. Just in case. Oh dear. I think I left it way too late to return. Way too late. It's not good, guys. I'll go towards... I think... That's a bit of a beacon. Oh no. No, 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 no. But can I, can I do it really quick? Can I save myself from the mobs real quick? By going... By building myself a bed. Like I got enough wool earlier. Lay down my bed, lay down my bed. And sleep before they come. Yes, I think I got so lucky there. Oh, that's brilliant. I think I got so lucky. That wasn't my intended plan. But I managed to survive the first night. Not the way I wanted to, but hey. Um, wait, have I found the town already? Or is that... Is that the town? No, I'm I'm looking at something else. No, I can see it in the background. That's fine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine this tree. Get some more trees. Because now I've got a rough idea. I've got enough. I've got that. I kind of would like to find a mine closer to that first village I found. So, maybe on the way back to the village, I'll start having a quick look for a closer mine. Just so I've got enough resources an easy access to a mine shaft so I could just go in there whenever I want and just start mining and then run up there when it gets near tonight it's just so I've got something to sleep in and that I'm safe so I don't have to do some kind of panic throw bed down like I did there for the most part though I think I managed to survive in one piece which is I'm kind of thankful for because it was a little bit nerve wracking for a second just not knowing that you're going to be safe from any incoming mobs because you decided to leave to the last minute before running back to your village or your home base which I'm kind of basing it on this first village right now that we saw at spawn but it's still kind of been a good part of the day so I'm going to use this part of the day to start more getting rid of some wood I mean as the episodes go by um, you won't have to see me mine some wood but because it's not the first couple of days and we're just collecting resources I'll have to collect as much wood as possible because I might need it a bit later on and plus wood has a again I keep hearing the spiders I don't think that's an issue there must be underground I think there must be something underground if I dig this area up I probably could find a source of the spiders and then just start attacking it but considering I don't have any armor right now I'm not going to. I could go into that blacksmith back in that town and see what they've got, but at the moment I'm more focused on getting this wood and finding my way back to base. I'm just going to clear out some of this wood. And I also want to get some saplings because I might try and build a few trees nearby the base because at the moment, like I mentioned earlier, we are striding a little bit further than I'd like from the base just to collect this wood. But that's fine. I'm kind of also striding over here. And basically, it's the same reason why I want to get like a mine. I swear those spiders are getting closer to me by the second. And it's daytime. Either that, or I'm on top of a spider spawner. Because I can't. I don't know about you guys. If you can see a spider, could you kind of put so the location in the comments, please? Because I can't see a thing. All I can hear is these stupid spider noises and it's starting to get out of my nerves because it's kind of confusing me. For starters, it's confusing me because I don't know where they are. And as well, it, it kind of makes me think they're going to pounce on me at any second and like, take me out. And that's not what I want. I don't want to be taken out by a zombie. I mean the spider. Zombies, I don't have a problem with. Unless they're those stupid mini zombies. 
They're really annoying. I don't like them. And maybe we'll see one later and you'll see what I mean. But they are incredibly annoying. Anyway, let's mine some seeds. Let's mine some seeds. Mine, mine, mine the seeds. Mine them all up. We mining them all up. We mining them all up. We mining, 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 mining them up. Yeah, mining them up. Very technically or not. That could be a really cool mine. Yeah, if that's a really cool system. That's awesome. But there might even be some more systems like nearby. I didn't really have a very close look at this area. I just found that, wait, where can we go? But there doesn't seem to be an awful lot. There's some more trees over there. So I could have got some like yew trees. But they don't tend to like produce so many saplings. So that... again, there's something behind this wall. Like, I like to think there's like some extensive cave system nearby. But at the moment, I can't even tell. Something's very odd going on. Ooh, sorry. Didn't mean to hit you. I've already, like, taken down the amount of sheet that I want. And then there's, like, some kind of hole. Don't know what that's for. I suppose I'll figure out shortly. Ooh, food. I like food. I mind this food. I was just ramping on at the start of this episode about how there's a nice little farm here and it'll produce me a good load of food. Yeah, I hadn't collected it. Probably do me good to go and collect this food. I might plant some as well. Just so I can continue this ongoing resource. Now unlimited. If you can, that's why I like to farm my food. I'm not a big, I'm, I do, as, of course, like meat's the better option, but this is sustainable. You can sustain your food income by planting stuff. So that's why I like to have like tons of farms. So just so I can kind of get tons of food so I never have to worry about my hunger. It's up to you, but that's just my preference. And I like having a bit of variety as well. Luckily here, we have wheat and beetroot. Oh, there's that blacksmith I was talking about like a few minutes ago. I might go look in there in a second and see what uh, armor I can get. Well, I don't even know where I'm actually going to be staying in terms of my long term. Maybe build my house, set house once I get a bit more settled and got everything up and running. But right now, I'm just literally, my main aim is to get myself enough resources to survive and then I'll worry about the fine details a bit later. Like finding myself a suitable, uh, a suitable mining shaft. I might even make one of my own because that does seem a little bit far. Oh, or I'll just build something towards it. Made that part of my, uh, made that part of my little project. Which, oh, I put the wrong sort of seeds down, but that's fine. That's fine. I'll fill it up in the next stop pile. I might even find some more. But I might go, while I'm here, I might go see what's at the blacksmith. Ah, oh. now if I'd known that, I wouldn't have actually made myself a... Oh, diamonds already, okay. So once you can make a diamond pickaxe, I'm not going to right now. I'm going to wait a bit, but I'm going to put on this armor. An iron chest plate, and yes, before anyone asks, that is an arsenal kit. There's nothing wrong with an arsenal kit before anyone goes, Oh, I'm a Spurs fan. I don't want to see some of an arsenal top. There's nothing wrong with arsenal tops. I'm a big arsenal fan. For those that are wondering. For those that already knew that. Well, well done. You knew that information before it became cool. Well, if that information ever does become cool to people who are not fans of that particular club. But I'll let you be... Ooh, more food. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Anyway. Get rid of that bit there, just because that's going to really annoy me. I like having things perfectly symmetrical. Ooh, carrots! I love carrots! I'll pick that up in a sec. Okay. 
I've just discovered carrots. They're really effective at killing... Okay, no. They are actually really effective at killing things. If you don't have a weapon. If you already have a weapon... Probably best to use that over the carrot. But I really hope in the future... They make a carrot weapon. Like a really basic weapon. And you grow it. Like, it could be like the weakest weapon. Like, say... Like similar sort of strength to the gold sword but it's made out of carrots I just think that would be so cool so if you ever run out of resources you'd always have the carrot no don't eat the carrot I want to plant them I'll eat the apple I'll eat the apple <coughs> ah sorry my character just burped I think I did that about 5 minutes ago but that's fine oh there we go. Now, I think that sun's going to set any minute now. So, probably best if we kind of get to somewhere safe and start getting ready for sleep. But that being said, I think we've made some substantial progress in this first episode. We have found ourselves um, a nice little village. We've got ourselves some coal and some cobblestone so I can start making cobblestone axes. And. I've got some food ready to start eating for when the time comes. I get really hungry. And on that note, it's time to end the episode. I'm going to end this episode by jumping in my bed. Which I can only sleep at night, but it's going to turn night very shortly. But thank you very much for watching this episode. And feel free to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you soon for the second episode of this magical series. Where I start getting fully prepared for the oncoming adventures of this magical place. See you guys then.